Beautiful Dixville Notch, New Hampshire, the home of the Balsams Grand Resort. We're hanging out at the Lumberjack Competition, actually at the Wilderness Ski Area of the place. And uh, summertime event, may as well use the ski area. We're going to change gears a little bit, put the axes away, bring out some chainsaws, do the obstacle pole bucking. I mean, I know you ran the course a little bit earlier, a little bit different from the BC and New Brunswick courses we've been seeing. Yeah, we usually nail our logs down pretty firmly when uh, when we're setting up our logs. But uh, you see here, these uh, logs are just setting a crotch, and they're, they're not even fastened in by nails. And I was kind of worried that it would, they would stand up during the day. But these big hemlock logs are so heavy, they're pretty solid. Well, we're going to be showing the top five feats of the obstacle pole. And here in the chainsaw part of the competition, you only have to make one cut of the disc from either side you want. Most guys, get, most, most guys are going to use the bottom of the bar. Yeah, bar pulls the saw in, to, uh, top of the blade, pushes the blade out, uh, the saw out towards you. There's a nice time by uh, Nathan Waterfield. Great run to set the time to beat a 14.95. It's going to be tough to beat under, under 15 seconds. Nathan, a good clean run. That's right. And you'll notice that the young guys are the ones that we're uh, featuring here all the time because these guys are fast afoot. And, of course, they're quick up the pole, quick with the saws. Timing in the, with using the chainsaws are all going to be pretty much the same. So it's really going to come down to the running part of this event. Cross-border challenge here. Oud Filion from Quebec taking on Craig Morris from Vermont. A couple of guys that come up uh, from the college ranks. That's right. I, interesting how uh, Hugh started this whole event. He's actually cross-handed when he starts at the beginning, of course, and he gets up to the top, both using the bottom of the bar. He's going to hustle now down to the end of it. Good clean cut by Oog Filio. Going to get a time to run for money, 15.32. Just less than a half a second off Waterfield's time of 14.95, still the time to beat. Yeah, you see these, the other part of the obstacle here in this event, you see Hugh Filion here really kicking it down to get to the end of the log, and then all of a sudden, whoa, he runs right into the concrete pillars there. That's what's holding our uh, crosscut saw uh, stanchion. So, of course, the, the site's a little bit tight here, and it makes for quite an interesting obstacle pull. A lot of competitors, 70 competitors. Waterfield still time to beat at 14.95 in the OP. we got Jonathan Blade taking on Paul Woodland. Paul Woodland's done this lots of times in New Brunswick. That's right. He actually is a logger by trade. He works in the woods. Almost lost his balance there, but he's hanging tough there. Jonathan Blay into the wood is eight by eight. No question, the younger guys are a little bit more nimble on their feet. This is their event. They're going to go for it, try to get the fastest time they can. Sprint to the end for Jonathan Blay with a 16.71. Still under 15 seconds, Nathan Waterfield. I mean, a good clean run here, but still, he's almost two seconds behind Waterfield. That's right. The guys have really got to pull the stop to it if they want to catch that 14 second in this short pole. Well, we got Herb Gingras here, which is uh, the brother of Jerry Gingras, our show organizer. Take on an Arden Coger Jr. He's out of his league here. Uh, Jamie, he loves the axe events. This chainsaw event is one thing to run a chainsaw. It's nothing to run up a pole that you can see him taking his time. Little steps here. They both well, twinkle toes to the top, and Herb Gingras falls off the log. Yeah, straight legged, too. You could see him wincing there at his back. Here comes twinkle toes down. Jamie doing a good job making sure he's off nice and safely. Well, when you lose your balance up top there, Herb Gingras just makes the decision to just blow it off right there. Does He lands a little flat-footed there, hurts his lower back as we talk to him a little bit later. Still, 1495 Waterfield. Here's the last seed, Gingras Jerry taking on Dave Ingasser. That's right. Both these guys are in the hunt for the overall, so they want to gather as many points as they can in these events. This is a really a gimme event. If they can place in the top five, they've got some more points towards their overall placings. Good clean start by both guys. They're neck and neck. Jerry sizes it up, and then he makes a run for it. That's right. Make sure his balance is on straight for you. Runs up the log. Gets a good cut. He's obviously going to use the bottom part of his bar. And look at him run to the end. Jerry, he's going for it. And Engasser a little behind him. He chose to use the top part of his bar. Engasser finishes it off as well. Now, Jerry, we were talking earlier about a challenging OP course, a little bit different. You know, you got the hemlock poles. You set it up. You also happen to win the thing. Yeah, um, I don't know if that was an advantage or not by setting it up. But, uh, you know, it was pretty fun. We drew numbers for the poles, so everybody had a good chance. And, uh, you know, the Echo Chainsaws really matched out. The tech did a great job of matching them up, and uh, it worked out real well, Bill. Now, slow and steady wins the race, kind of. You know, you take it easy up the pole and uh, just keep your balance. At, uh, you made it look easy. Is it easy going up and down that pole? It's definitely not easy. A um, lot of luck involved, I feel. And, uh, you know, the times that the guy set in the heats before me, really, you know, it was going to be all or nothing. Either I was going to sprint up the pole and uh, we'd give it 100% or I was going to crash and burn. <laughs> Thanks, Jerry. Thanks, Bill. <laughs> Well, just as we expected, the young guys would have the fastest times in this, but Jerry Jingra, given it all, takes first place in the obstacle pole with a 14.19.